Surely, one of the most intense scenes of Holy Thursday is that time when Jesus knelt down on hands and knees and washed the feet of Judas. We remember how strongly Peter reacted, right? Lord, you're not going to wash my feet. I should be washing yours. But Jesus insisted. Imagine what it was like when he washed Judas's feet where they both know, right? They know. Judas knows what he's going to do, and our Lord knows what, what, what he's about to do, what he's already done. Yet, uh, yet there he is. What a lesson there is in that, right? Um, how does Jesus look at Judas? And how does Judas, looking at Jesus, what's in both of their hearts? Catherine Emmerich, uh, in her visions, this is what she saw. Very interesting. She says, When Jesus washed the feet of Judas, it was in the most loving and affectionate manner. You might expect there to be some angst or anger or some like a, um, a dissatisfaction, right? To put it the least. But instead, our Lord doesn't allow any of that in, none of it. Rather, she says she saw in his heart uh, that he was doing in the most loving and affectionate manner. He bent his sacred face even onto the feet of the traitor. You can imagine him even kissing the feet of Judas. And in a low voice, he bade him, now at least, to enter into himself, for that he had been a faithless traitor for the last year. Can you imagine, like, Jesus looking up as he's washing Judas' feet and whispering to him, like, Judas, remember when I called you? Judas, do you remember, like, all these things that we've done together? Do you remember all the miracles that you've seen? Maybe even that you've worked yourself because of my power. Do you remember, like, all the hopes that we had? Do you remember all the promises? Do you remember our relationship? Do you remember how much I love you? Judas, our Lord, whispering to him as he's washing his feet. It then carries on that Judas appeared to be anxious to pay no heed whatsoever to his words. Can you imagine? Our Lord, from his heart, speaking out to Judas, and Judas just totally ignoring him. So much so that like he won't even look at him. Instead, he tries to strike up a conversation with John. <laughs> Um, he's trying to ignore him so much. It, it says, Judas appeared to be anxious to pay no heed whatever to our Lord's words, but instead he spoke to John. And when Peter saw this, he became angry and he exclaimed, Judas, the master speaks to thee. Judas, like our Lord's talking to you, listen to him. Then Judas made our, our Lord some vague evasive reply, such as, Heaven forbid it, Lord. Remember, is it I? Is it I? Surely not I. Heaven forbid, not I. When you read those words, think of Judas kind of distractingly talking to John or just trying to ignore what our Lord is doing for him. The others had not remarked that Jesus was speaking to Judas, for his words were uttered in a low voice in order not to be heard by them. And so our Lord is speaking purposely, very quietly, not trying to reveal that Judas is the one who will betray, hoping again, hoping in his heart of hearts that Judas will come back, that he'll see his love and care for him, that he will repent, that he will know that he can come back even after he's done this. And then just, just the last thing at the end of this paragraph, she says, nothing in the whole course of the passion grieved Jesus so deeply as the treason of Judas. The thing that grieved our Lord the most during all of this, constantly at the fore, was the betrayal of his friend, of Judas. And so uh, there's something to reflect upon, right? Jesus washing the feet of Judas, even as he's in the time of betraying him. Uh, thinking about what that meant and how our Lord, like what his face must have looked like, and then Judas's response, his heart and heart, all of that. And then also maybe thinking of us too, right? In the midst of our own sinfulness, our own kind of acting like Judas, ignoring and looking away. As our Lord is whispering to us, remember, remember, I love you. We, we, we serve together, right? And his great hope for, for all of us.